Uh, can I say it's great to be part of this march today. It's more than great, it's a privilege and I'm very proud of being involved in my own wee way. You know, in 1979, you're listening, Peter there, 1979, I participated in the first walk that Clyde for Home Rule Independence for Scotland in Edinburgh. Uh, and that, that day sowed the, the seeds of what we believe in together in my soul ever since. Uh, and I've fought and try to fight for the cause as you have done and you have done so well over the years but frankly i'm going on and i'm fed up waiting fed up waiting i want to see an independent scotland i want to see it now i want to see a fair scotland a just scotland a socially democratic scotland not just in holyrood but in the communities and the workplace uh, of, of our industries and offices and businesses so that everybody feels they're part of it and not having tablets handed down to them. In 1976, the UK, the UK government, UK government signed the United Nations Charter of self saying that nations had a right to self-determination. Well, Scotland's a nation. We didn't sign that away in 1707. We're a nation. We're a proud nation. And we will have our self-determination. I know, like you, I no longer want to be run by Westminster or the city of London. And I have to say, on a personal basis, having run companies in Europe, I don't want to be run by Brussels or indeed by German bankers either. What the UK government, I think, has realised that there is a fundamental change going on in politics, not just the freedom that we will have, and we will have, but there are similar cries going up in the north of England and in parts of Wales as well. And I say this to Nicola, as I've said other things to Nicola, there is no need for another draft prospectus. What there is simply is a demand of Mr Johnson and his cohorts to start face-to-face -face negotiations and start them now. You who have walked and demonstrated over 500 miles deserve that and deserve to have a say in that end result which will be the freedom of Scotland. And we don't want to walk another 500 miles before that happens. So Nicola, tell Boris you want a meeting. You want a meeting now to start the whole process of negotiation for the freedom of this nation, this proud nation. Thank you.